Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm still in Sweden today and what a beautiful day this is. Just uh, look at this, some fresh new snow has fallen down uh, past night and it's going to stay below zero, way below zero for the coming days. So uh, yeah, we are just really happy. And look at this, look at all those trees here covered in snow again you know we had one day without snow on the trees uh, and it felt a little bit boring or something but now the snow is back and it's just this magical place and we were just driving down this road and i noticed in the forest here there is one small tree in the middle of the forest and it just looks really nice especially it's about 45 minutes before sunrise so we're in a bit of a blue dawn hour uh, which is uh, yeah maybe kind of strange but do uh, color wise but we can just take these shots on a tripod image stabilization off and then right now I'm at a four second exposure on ISO 200 uh, which is uh, perfect of course so let me try to show you here on the back of the camera you can see this is the shot and this one tree is different than all those straight trees and that's what I uh, like about it so composition wise not that difficult uh, yeah I'm just trying to frame that little tree up uh, in the position that you do you see it best so you won't uh, when you look at the image you immediately see that tree so uh, that that's just uh, yeah really nice and how I try to do that is to make sure that the a trunk of the small tree is not in front of a different tree so you can immediately see that it is a loose uh, tree over there so uh, I'm gonna take a couple of shots I'm gonna walk along this road here and see if I can find uh, some more of these uh, small trees but uh, yeah it looks very promising today uh, we're at a spot here a little bit further away where we're going where we're hopefully uh, able to uh, have a a large view a little bit uh, further away uh, towards the sunrise and yeah let's hope for some nice colors but if not I'm very happy with a situation like this so uh, yeah really good so this is it uh, this is the shot and maybe the other shots that I'm taking in this uh, particular area After driving around for a while I found a spot that didn't look as promising uh, at first so I didn't record any video material on that spot but when I'm editing the images I'm actually quite surprised by the results and one of them is actually really good. So these are these uh, uh, shots from the location that at first looked like it was nothing. What a location and this is exactly the way I like to photograph, you know, drive around, uh, see if there's something of interest that catches your eye. And there was a real nice uh, uh, parking spot here, there are not many parking spots next to a lake or an open area. Most of the times there's a lot of snow uh, next to it, but we can just walk onto this, uh, I think we're actually standing on the ice here at the moment, 
I'm not quite sure, but this is a, a snow scooter path, so I think it's quite safe to, uh, to stand here. But there was some really nice moody fog on the top of that uh, mountain in the back there. But what actually caught my attention uh, was one of those islands there in the back. It just looked really nice. Atmospheric in the background, snowfall coming down in front, uh, creating this, these magical uh, conditions. And yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I, uh, <laughs> that I like to see. And I actually, while I'm walking here and talking to you, there is another island here on the left side, which I didn't photograph yet, but there's a bit of a dark forest behind it. That is a bit disturbing. So maybe if I walk a little bit to that side, but there's no trails over there and I don't want to walk in places where I'm not quite sure that, uh, that I'm able to walk there. So uh, yeah, not going to do that. Uh, don't want to get through the icy or anything. So uh, yeah, definitely a great place. Three shots, possibly. I don't, haven't shot that one. And right now there's also some nice light appearing in the back there. So uh, yeah, it might be a really nice, uh, really nice day of some uh, landscape photography. There's a mountain behind a, an island of trees. Let me try to show you here. You can see that moody mountain in the background and all the snow coming down in front here. And then you have these layers of trees, which I really like. And then that light up there just looks phenomenal. Not quite sure if, I'm, if I want to zoom out a little bit like this or only concentrate on this section so I'm probably gonna take both and then look at home uh, what's the most interesting uh, uh, shot here so uh, yeah I'm gonna take a couple different ones and uh, yeah you will see the best one uh, uh, after this clip So what a spot, I think a couple of uh, fantastic images uh, and it's only <laughs> maybe 11 o'clock in the morning so we got the whole day in front of us but we've noticed that around 11 to 12 is usually the best light of the day uh, this whole week until now. So uh, yeah, happy that we got to this place here, it's totally random, just driving around, found this and a couple of amazing uh, shots. It's extremely cold today. I just walked out of the car without my hat, but it's just not possible. So uh, uh, got my hat back on and my gloves. And if you're ever in need of some good photography gloves, I can highly recommend the Fellerad gloves. You know, it's not because I got these uh, from Fellerad, but uh, I just tested this and this is really my honest opinion. They're just extremely warm. Uh, really comfortable uh, you can very easily feel the buttons of your camera and if you want some more feeling just uh, release your fingers there are some magnets here on the back that you can adjust and you can do it with your thumb and your uh, pointing finger there's also a little zipper here you can see it in the back you can open it up and put some heat pads in it if you would like to it's not that cold here so i'm not in need of those heat pads but uh, yeah, these are just extremely comfortable, warm uh, photography gloves for these kind of conditions. 
So uh, yeah, like I said, not because I got these, but this is my true honest opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy I got those. So there's a link in the description if you want some. Uh, this one that I'm using right now is called Tinden, but they've got all kinds of photography gloves for even more Arctic conditions, uh, but also for normal conditions. So every condition there is a suitable uh, uh, glove. I guess. So uh, take a look at the website if you look at uh, if you would like one. So we just walked up to this uh, hydro plant dam here. And I was actually hoping to get on top of it because this is one of the only places you can see down here where the water is not frozen. So I thought maybe some nice patterns of flowing, uh, flowing water or something. Yeah, it looks amazing. There are some people, I think they are ice fishing there in the ice. It looks really nice. But uh, yeah. Uh, on this side, you have this vast view. Just look at this. Everything is uh, frozen. And we, we even saw some car tracks uh, over the ice here. So the ice is so thick that cars are able to drive over it here. Something that uh, <laughs> would never happen in the Netherlands. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, I was actually hoping to find some abstract shapes from up here, you know. I'd, I thought maybe this ice is a little bit broken on this side, but until now, I don't uh, really see what I was looking for. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna look around here. I am gonna take a couple of shots of that mountain and that peninsula with trees there that looks pretty nice. And there's an island on the other side of the lake, but it isn't as good as the island that I shot this morning. So I don't think that's uh, gonna be uh, yeah, a killer shot, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna look around and uh, if I find something else as that, then uh, I'll let you know. But uh, first, I'm gonna yeah <laughs> see what <laughs> see what I can do here. But this is the shot of the mountain there with the foggy top and the peninsula with uh, trees in front of it. So I was just uh, calling my wife when in my corner of my eye I spotted a whole herd of reindeer and it looks amazing and I tried to walk back to get Walter he I don't know where he went he walked away somewhere to fly his drone so uh, I put some arrows on the ground so he knows uh, where I am so hopefully those reindeers will uh, stick where they are the snow is really thick here, so it's a little bit difficult to walk, but hopefully... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Well, okay, I'm on a snow scooter trail here, which is quite good to walk, but... I'm going to be silent, try to approach them a little bit uh, closer, see if I can get a nice shot of them. And they're in this beautiful forest, so hopefully... Hopefully I can get some nice shots. So, what a moment. Uh, I caught up with these reindeer, got a couple of shots, but eventually they walked over the hill and the snow was just way too thick for me to, uh, to go after them. I got a couple of nice shots and unfortunately Walter missed it. He was flying his drone. I called him, <laughs> screamed at him, but he just uh, couldn't hear me. But uh, yeah, what a moment. Great, uh, great memories. And when we finally met up here again on the dam, two snowmobiles just ran over that ice here that I was photographing earlier. And it looked really nice as a foreground in front of that island there. So uh, uh, yeah, got a shot of the 
of the snow scooter there. But uh, yeah, what a place, what a place and what a day. So this is Sweden. We're just driving down the road and a big herd of reindeer is stopping the traffic. Just uh, uh, walking on the road. Just look over here outside my window. I think there must have been about 50. So we tried to shoot them from the car. But there's a lot of traffic on this road, so we have to be a bit careful. But uh, I think we got a couple of nice, uh, a couple of nice shots of them, uh, nice settings. But yeah, what a day! Second time we saw reindeer, so uh, yeah, we're pretty, uh, pretty pleased. So uh, these are the shots we just took here next to the road of this uh, reindeer herd. So uh, yeah, this is it. In the afternoon we started to struggle to find some nice locations, but I did what I always did. Looked on Google Maps, searched for a location with a possible sunset, and when sunset was starting to look epic, uh, we were rushing around like headless chicken, and I shot a beautiful panel on our way there when I noticed some light on the mountain but didn't film anything. But that panel might have been one of the best shots from the whole trip to Sweden. So you're gonna see the panel, and after that we went to a uh, the location that we had in mind and that became pretty epic too. We were struggling a bit to, to find a sunset spot here. Uh, ran out of time a little bit. And uh, I just noticed a place on the map with a lake. And I said, come, let's drive over here, it's 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, we're right here. And it's actually, again, a hydroelectric dam that we're standing on. But look at this view behind me here and this reflection in the water here. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it's, one of the best places we've been so far with those mountains in the back, uh, beautiful light. The sun is just behind a cloud, but hopefully in a few minutes, the sun will illuminate 
its last light of the day here in this valley. And also in the back, those, somehow the fog is starting to, uh, I have to be a bit careful here standing on this ledge, but somehow the fog is uh, turning in, of the snow is turning into fog. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wait here for a couple of minutes. Hopefully the sun will hit this valley again and we will find some uh, enormously good compositions, but what a spot, absolutely amazing. Wow, something else that I haven't seen this, uh, <laughs> this trip. Look at this. Beautiful ice cones here hanging on the side of this roof. Beautiful, and I'm gonna photograph them with the snow in the background. That must be very good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk around, photograph it from the other side, and then hopefully I can use the snow as my background. And I'm just zooming in, focusing on one uh, ice cone here. Wow, that's gonna be one cracker of a shot, I can tell you that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take a panel and I'm shooting it through uh, this fence because I want to have a low angle so I can get as much as the reflection of this water in front here in my image. So 40 to 150 and I'm going to take a vertical panel, which is always a bit difficult. But if it works, it's going to be one cracker of an image, that's for sure. Gonna leave a little bit more space than I need. I think that's it. I took the whole uh, vertical panel. I think it's about 15 shots that I took from the left to the right. The whole scene is in, but the light is gone at the moment. And if you look over there, the sun is just behind. Let's see that last cloud there. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, that cloud will disappear just before the last piece of sunset, sunset and then creating this magical atmosphere uh, in this frame. You know, there are one, two, three, four mountains that the sun can still illuminate in the background. So, fingers crossed, it would be amazing. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait here for a couple of minutes. And then, uh, <laughs> that's it. This, this shot is worth waiting, you know, and it's so nice that this piece of ice is open that the reflection makes this image great and because of my low angle uh, you can see if I go up you get a lot of ice in your midground but the lower I go the less big that midground is getting so if it, if it would be me I would even go lower I would go somewhere down here but that's just not possible it's dangerous to to go there it's probably all ice so uh, there's no way I'm, I'm going up there. You know, there's no shot worth uh, risking your life for, so definitely not doing that. So uh, we're just gonna wait here. Hopefully that light is still gonna come, and else I'm just gonna take this image as it is right now, and it still looks gorgeous. So <laughs> if uh, uh, whatever happens, 
this is the shot that I'm gonna take here. Wow, what an absolutely amazing day of photography here in Sweden. We've seen it all. We started with some beautiful scenery, uh, shot some reindeer, uh, got this absolute amazing uh, spot uh, on the lake here uh, just a couple of minutes ago. And now there's a beautiful red sky over here that we tried to shoot here with this S-curved road, but it's just really difficult. We, we left a little bit late at that lake but the light there was amazing so there was no way we were going to leave there earlier but yeah the red sky was much bigger earlier on so it would have been a, <laughs> a really amazing spot but uh, that shot at the lake was just absolutely worth it so uh, yeah what more do you want on one day of <laughs> photography here in Sweden so uh, if you like this video don't forget please push that thumbs up button you will massively help this channel to grow and um, uh, there's a subscribe button underneath this video. If you push that uh, and select all on the notification bell, you will get a message uh, when I release uh, my next video. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week. And uh, bye bye.